What is good everybody? This is Brian Mazik, aka Franchise Play, and I got another video for you for uh, NBA 2K. Now, I'd already planned to do this video, but some more information came up that I got to share with you. So, check it out. Alright, so check it out, guys. The I got some more information about my GM and my league that I didn't have previously. Uh, I had to try to, you know, kind of get into, look around to see if I could, you know, find to, you know, find some of the details that were still kind of lingering out there uh, about the mode. So one of the things that came up was about the, the rules committee. So for anybody that doesn't know, after every season that you play in my GM and my league, it's going to go, you're, there, there's an actual rules committee that determines whether or not certain rules will get passed so they have you know changing what the you know the uh, how many seconds you have to get across half court uh there's all different types of rules so i wanted to know was there a rule for the shot clock because i want to play a college style i want to have the option to be able to play a college basketball style so uh the executive producer of the mode who's eric Benish, said that there are some rules related to the shot clock he did not go into details. I'm not sure if he did that on purpose or what, but he didn't go into details. Just said there are rules related to the change in the shot clock. Okay. The second thing was, I want to know, will there be a option or will it come up or will you be proposed with the option of changing the uh, or adding a four point shot? Now, you may not realize this, but this discussion has been passed back and forth uh, for the real life NBA. So he said that the team investigated it investigated it heavily to see whether or not they could add that so but the reason why it's not in the game is because they would have had to change play calling tendencies behaviors and a whole bunch of other stuff which totally makes sense he he, he gave the example he says does Steph Curry always shoot from that range or you know so there's a lot of workings that have to go in if you're going to add something like that you don't want to just have it cosmetically on the court and you don't have the players actually uh, recognizing it in their play style you know their, their defense and so on and so forth so that's a lot of code a lot of writing to add into the game if you're going to do that not to mention adding in commentary that supports the four point shot so there's a lot of stuff that goes into that so i understand it not being in there now i wouldn't put it past them working towards adding that going forward the other side of the my gm my league situation is this uh, about expansion so if anybody doesn't know, you can expand from 30 to 36 teams um, uh, and you can do the full creation suite form. So the arena, the floors, the jerseys, the logos, the whole nine, you can even change all the rosters around. So you can not you can you can do it for not just the six expansion teams, but you can actually do it for every team in the league. So if you so if you want to come up with a team from a city and name it, whatever you want to name it, you can do that. But if you don't want to go through the whole creation process, they have 10 teams or 10 cities and nicknames already uh, stored on the game so that you can add those in case you don't want to get into the creation part of it and those teams have full logos um, you know secondary and primary logo sets for all 10 teams not to mention there are there's audio support with the commentators for all 10 of those teams so I learned from Eric uh, Benish what those 10 team names were so i'm putting it up on the screen right now you got the nashville stars the pittsburgh force the kansas city king uh kansas city knights i almost said the kansas city kings kansas city knights virginia storm the vancouver ravens the san diego surf the cincinnati lions the baltimore barons the louisville liberty and the st louis sound so those are pretty decent names i don't have a problem with them i you know i, I like to just kind of do my own thing all together so we'll see uh, how that works. I'm pretty sure that you can still use those cities with different logos and designs if you don't want to use the pre-installed ones. But it's good, I guess, to have those there. So that probably is going to be the last bit of information uh, that comes out about my GM, my league. I can't imagine what else we didn't hit, what else I didn't hit, didn't talk about already. So I want to talk a little bit of, uh, more about moving forward, uh, my plans and those types of things. Now... I'm going to try to put a table of contents or something in this particular video because I understand when you cover a lot of different topics, that's helpful to the viewer. 
So that's something I'm going to try to make sure that I do this time. Uh, so we uh, talked about player faces, tattoos, and shoes, which is a long-running series that I've done for some time, right? Uh, am I going to do that again this year? I am. I don't know exactly what format I'm going to do it in. I got a chance to look at the edit screen a little bit. So uh, we'll have to see how, how, how we do it. But getting into that, let's talk about some of the player faces and stuff that I've seen. Uh, Mark is smart. That render was great. It stood out to me because of the hairstyle, uh, how on point they got that. Also, the uh, render of Iman Shumpert stood out because they got his weird uh, high top ponytail thing, whatever that is he got. Uh, pretty much a lot of the guys is, uh, with graphics in their hair, uh, those graphics came through really sweet. Would have been real nice, obviously, if we had those hairstyles available for us to create a player, because uh, we don't. But uh, like Carl Anthony Towns, that's in there pretty sweet. Um, we saw that on uh, when 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 his render was released. Uh, maybe it was that a week or two ago. Um, so I liked quite a bit of the renders. Uh, I want one thing I also wanted to point out is that some of the renders for the classic teams have even been redone. I thought Rodman, Dennis Rodman looked better. I thought Steve Kerr looked better. Uh, I thought Steph, I thought Scottie Pippen might have been a little too dark though. Uh, just from playing what I saw. Um, I thought Froby was a little bit more accurate. Um, Shaq you know, kind of looked the same to me. And I'm thinking back of some of the retro, the classic teams uh, renders that I actually saw. Uh, Rick Fox I thought was more accurate. Um, so especially with his hair, he had, he had a more accurate hairstyle for sure. Uh, so that, you know, is what I can remember in regards to the renders. Uh, the ratings themselves, I know LeBron was number one at the 96. Uh, a lot of people were talking about the Timberwolves being a fifth rated over team, uh, fifth rated team overall. And I saw that on one of the guys who looked like they had a copy of the game early. But then when we played, when I played, I, I purposely scrolled over to the Timberwolves and they were 21st. So I don't know. We're talking about different builds. I don't know if there's going to be a day one patch. I don't know if the, the version we played was the day one patch. I don't know. Uh, but I know there's a discrepancy there. Uh, Steph Curry was a 94. Uh, 93 was uh, Durant. Um, there was not a lot of 90s just like last year. I believe uh, Chris Paul was like a 91. So uh, And then, of course, Michael Jordan, the 95-96 uh, version of Michael Jordan is a 99. Uh, as far as the classic teams, a lot of people are upset about this, and I kind of, I can understand, to a degree I can understand, uh, there are no new classic teams, so that was a little bit bewildering to people because Kobe's retired, he's obviously in the game, we saw number 24 Kobe, but we don't know in what capacity that's going to be, I'm thinking it could be uh, my team, you know, that, that version or that render that we saw is from my team, so I don't know. Uh, there's the Olympic teams, uh, Team USA and all that, like I mentioned before, you can only use them in play now, can, cannot be used in any other mode, can't even be used in my league, my GM, bring in, can't do any of that, which is a kind of a bummer, but I realize that's a legal situation, it's not about, oh, we forgot to do it. Um, so, a lot, of that, a lot of that, that's what it is, it's about understanding the situation. Uh, so, that's... The last pieces of information, like I said, that I've been able to grab. Now, I have not talked about gameplay on YouTube as of yet, and that's for a reason. I'm waiting on getting some actual gameplay footage that I can pair with the commentary because I think that'll make it all kind of come together a little bit better. May even give me some more stuff to talk about, especially if it's not footage from stuff we did uh, while we were there. But that's all I got for you today. Like I always, I appreciate you watching. God bless. Peace.